Hello again. It has been 30 years since the Victor Max Stuntmaster came out. And we're gonna honor it today by opening a brand new one and see everything that came inside with it. This little monoscopic head mount display was used for Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. So what can you expect from this video? Well, we're gonna open this up, see everything that came with it. We're gonna do the configuration for both the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. And then we're also gonna see if we can get this thing working with anything else. As a kid, I always wanted virtual reality and this wasn't even on the radar for me. I had never even heard of this when I was a kid. The first time I ever heard about consumer VR for gaming was the virtual I.O. back in 1995. This was 1993. I just wanted to honor the Victor Max Stuntmaster because this is a great piece of VR history. Now it's been said that the Victor Max was the very first consumer VR headset for gaming. Whenever this is said, there's always contenders and things that came out before, but weren't necessarily consumer based or came out same month, etc. So the facts can always get a little sketchy. So let's crack this sucker open and see everything that came with it. The first thing I'm going to do is get this plastic off so we can see the box a little better. I'd like to look at the box art and read some of the text on it. Oh, this is so weird. It is now not considered unopened. Whew. Yeah, other than some other than some standard wear and tear from 30 years of being in storage, everything seems great and everything seems fine. You got to love the 90s box art. Victor Max, The Great Virtual Reality Escape, works with most Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games. Run most of your Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games from a Victor Max virtual reality headset. Technology for the 21st century. And it says here, recommended for ages 6 to adult. Alright, look at that gamer kid from the 90s. This kid's staring at me like, when can I have a turn? This one looking like, I don't know what's going on. Run all your Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games from the Victor Max Virtual Reality headsets. <laughs> I love this. Recommended for ages 83 and down. This is too exciting for anyone any older. That's great. I love that. You gotta love that. Nintendo don't generation. At last, the gift to the people, reality for the masses. For less than the price of a portable TV, you can now unchain the dazzling in intensity of 3D interactive virtual reality. There you step forward, cheese ball. You know what, I'm probably gonna end up doing scans of this and uh, posting them, so I will leave that for everybody to see. Okay, so, this is really exciting. I've never seen one in person. This is actually gonna... How does this go? Oh, it lifts up, okay. Okay, here we go. This is how you would first see it. Okay, important. If you own a Sega, new compact design game console. Ooh, okay, so you need an adapter for the Sega, so I may not actually be able to hook this up to a Sega because I have a new compact design. I have the Model 2 Sega, not the Model 1. Okay, so right off the bat, this only works with the Sega Model 1 based on the information that they just put in here. Okay, well, that means I will check through my adapters and see if I can get it to work. Okay, so this looks like it's the notorious bar for tracking. Okay, so this is 30 years, never opened. Let's see if I can get this out of here without scratching or dinking anything. Oh man, it is so nice. No scratches, no scuffs. Okay, it has the little tracking bar. This bar would hook onto your shirt and hook onto the Victor Max and move around for the head tracking. I know that much about it. All the cables and adapters for it. And you know what? 30 years and this plastic still seems pretty good. The rubber and the plastic does seem fairly decent. And you got this connector. Okay, let's pull it out. Get it all on the table. Got a very heavy power adapter, I assume. Yep. Okay. So it does require extra power. Well, let's see what else we got in here. 
Oh wow, it looks like this may have had water damage to the box. So that is mildly concerning. I hope this sucker still turns on. Also, it looks like it could have been heat too. It could have been just heat and moisture. But yeah, unfortunately, it looks like this is in very poor condition as far as the manual. The good news is, is that means the Victor Max, if this took the blunt of it, that means the headset should still be good. Operator's manual, okay, maybe I'll do some scans of this. If they're not already online, I'll link to them. Yep, it's just a full setup of how to do it. Awesome, perfect. Keep that for later. And feeling this, this is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna have the weight of a portable TV on your head. It looks like there's some discolorization on the magnifier piece. Now that could cause a problem as far as visibility. So you sometimes see this yellowing of plastic on action figure boxes a lot. Um, unfortunately, I think that's the case with this as well. So I may have to see if I can cut a new one and replace it. It also has the dip switches, reset button, etc. But yeah, otherwise, most of the plastic seems okay. Most of the rubber still seems okay. The only thing that's concerning about the brand new Victor Max is the magnifier piece here. So I'm gonna have to mess with that to see if I can get that to work. But yeah, that's the brand new Victor Max. Fresh out of the box. Like I said, the box seemed a little warped. I don't know if that was due to heat or if that was due to moisture. But um, yeah, it wasn't. It doesn't seem like the. It doesn't seem like it was kept in really great condition for 30 years. But then again, 30 years is a long time for the elements and anything to take effect. So we'll just have to plug it in and see what we get. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you how to set up the Victor Max real quick and all the things that you need to get it set up. So first things first, I'm not going to be doing the Sega because I only have a Sega Model Two and the adapter that comes with it is only good for a Sega Model 1. But I can show you how to set it up for the Super Nintendo. So obviously you have the Victor Max and you have this adapter that comes off the headset itself. And then you have various adapters as well. So first things first, we're going to find the Super Nintendo adapter and get that plugged up to the Victor Max headset itself. help if I did it the right way. Okay, so you have a couple different cables on here. You have the power adapter, the controller that goes to the Super Nintendo, the controller input that goes to the Victor Max, and then the audio and video signal. Turn the system around. Plugging up the audio and video. Plugging it up to controller port one. And then you plug the controller up to the cable adapter. Now, before we do this, I just wanted to mention that this is an official original Super Nintendo controller. That is what is recommended as I've heard a couple stories where third party controllers are plugged in and it fries the headset or um, if you use the wireless adapter on here, it'll fry the headset, etc. It has something to do with different voltage. Also, I, I don't know about the difference of PAL and NTSC regions, but like I said, this is the original controller for this, so it should be fine. And then, of course, it's got its own power brick for the headset itself. Plug it in there. Now before I plug it in, it is worth mentioning that you do want to consult the manual for the configuration on the switches. Uh, for the Super Nintendo, it says it's all off, which is fine. It's already on that. I think for the Sega Genesis in the manual, it's number two on. So before you plug it in, because it doesn't really have an on off switch that I can find, it just has this reset button. Um, so double check the settings before you plug it in. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Turn the Super Nintendo on. 
and you're off and going. Now you do have a brightness, dimmer switch, tint, volume, and then this says sensitivity. Now, unfortunately, I have to try to return mine. Even though this was brand new out of the box, it had yellow lenses and, I don't know how well you guys can see that, the screen is black and white only, has burning on the sides, and has one dead line near the top. Let me see if I can get this in there, yeah. That is the best picture I can get, and that is supposed to be full color. So the and also even though this is a brand new headset, the only dim, the only dimmer switch that works, well the only dimmer switches that work is the brightness and the volume. This doesn't seem to do anything. Reset button doesn't seem to do anything. The tint and the sensitivity don't seem to do anything on this headset. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to return this. So then you put the bar on here, connect it to your shoulder, and you're off and going. So yeah. That's how you set up the Victor Max Stuntmaster on the Super Nintendo. And it's pretty much the same setup for the Sega Genesis. Unfortunately, this is kind of where I need to end this video. I, I was hoping to do a little more in-depth review, but I feel like I can't give it an honest opinion um, when it's not a fully functional headset. What I can say is based on the screen size and how the lenses work, they... Uh, it's basically like putting a magnifying glass on the Game Gear. It's still a cool experience, but it's a little underwhelming. And I'm assuming that's how people felt back in 1993 also. Also, it's worth noting that uh, when you buy things brand new out of a box, um, it doesn't hurt to ask where it was stored. I mean, people can sometimes always lie, but this one seems like it was left in the heat. It could have been moisture damage, but based on my experience, it seems like it was left out in over 100 degree weather for a while, so it was probably in someone's hot attic. Um, but all, I can only speculate. Obviously, I'm going to try to return it, see what's going on, get some of my money back. But uh, yeah, so Victor Max is 30 years old. This is a great collector's item in working condition because it is the first commercial VR headset. I would recommend it to any collector, but be very careful with even brand new out of the box items because you never know how it was stored or where it was stored. So that begs the question, what was your experience with the Victor Max Stuntmaster? Please share in the comments below, I would love to hear it. Also, if anybody knows where I can get a decent working one, uh, drop me an email. You can always find that in my about section. I would love to try it out. I'm very interested in retro VR. And until next time, have a great one.